Well, hi, friends. Doc South with you. And, uh, well, I was just thinking back. I don't know. I was just thinking back. Oh, gosh, this have to be. Oh, I'm older and dirt. I, I'd say probably 65, 66 years ago, something like that. Yeah, I would have been about eight, maybe nine years old, give or take. And I was up visiting my grandparents, granddad and grandma, up at their log cabin at Lake Lenape. Yeah, granddad had this, uh, well, this log cabin. It was a summer home, believe it or not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'd go up there and visit Lake Lenape. Gosh, you could go fishing. Uh, of course, there was uh, uh, the beach and ice cream at the beach and kids playing baseball and stuff. No, it was nice. And, uh, of course, uh, granddad cooking hamburgers and steaks and stuff. Oh, Lord, it was a, it was a nice it was always nice to visit the visit the the cabin, as they used to call it. And um, I don't know. I was messing around out in the yard, and uh, uh, well, actually, what happened was I went. Uh, I, I figured out a way to get up on the roof of the cabin. Well, I wanted to look around. You know, gosh, can handle climbing a tree. I had to climb. I had to shimmy up a tree, grab a few limbs, uh, get up. <laughs> about to roof edge level and then what i did was i kind of shinnied across on uh, uh on one limb with my feet holding on to another limb with my hands till i was out over the roof and then i jumped i pounced on the roof and uh luckily the uh the limbs were fairly close to the roof so i could i realized that when it was time to come back down i could um okay so, yeah, I was fine. I was up on the roof walking around. It was a peaked roof, but not, it was steep in the middle, but for the most part, like this, most of the roof. And then there was an area like that. And of course, that's where I headed to, the very peak. I wanted to get a good look at Lake Lenape. And I, I wasn't disappointed, man. It was, I could see almost the whole darn lake from the, the swamps where the, the water came in and all the way down to the dam. Uh, that held the water back for the lake and the, the beach. I could see my friends at the beach and stuff, people out uh, on their rowboats and canoes. Oh, it was great. Uh, but then, and of course, the mountain across the lake, which always looked like a volcano to me. It, it wasn't, uh, at least not in recent times anyway. And in fact, I think it was mostly iron ore. I'm pretty sure. But in any case, that, that's beyond the point. I'm looking at the mountain, then all of a sudden I look off to the left of the mountain, and way off in the distance, I saw this huge mountain. And again, this is North North Jersey, and I'm looking west. And I see this, this big mountain that stretched across the horizon, and and then there was a dip, and shortly thereafter, it came back up again, and it continued further. And I'm looking at that, and I'm saying, my God, that's beautiful. What the heck is that? It had real steep dropping edges. Again, long, long stretching uh, Pennsylvania style mountain or New Jersey mountain too. You know, it was it was nice and long. Uh, looked kind of like Schoolies Mountain, only way bigger. And I could see Schoolies Mountain from uh, my home back in uh, Chester. Well, I go, I, I couldn't stand it. I go, you, I'm thumping across the roof grab onto that, uh, that, the hand limb and then jump onto the, with my feet to the other, shimmy across to the main trunk and down I go, hollering, hey, granddad, what? Okay, okay, granddad, what, what? I gotta ask you something. And he's, he's, he's reading the Wall Street Journal or the racing form or both uh, in his, uh, in, out on the veranda, as they used to like to call it, the closed in porch. And I said, granddad, you got, he says, you know, he says, I heard something funny on the roof. <laughs> and uh, I, I said, yeah, I was up there. He says, how the heck did you get up on the roof? I said, I climbed a tree, shimmied out on a limb. Oh, he said, just like your father used to do with a different tree. But now, yeah, okay, so you were up there. Cool. He didn't say cool, but he said, great, good. Did you see anything? I said, well, I saw the lake. And I, I said, but there's this mountain way off in the, way off in the, he says, well, my God, he says that you must have, he says, you, you saw the Delaware water gap. 
haven't you ever been out there? I said, no, it's a big mountain. Yeah, Jack, big mountain. It stretches and, uh, and dips and cliffs. And he says, well, yeah. He says, well, we'll have to go there someday. Darn, he says, I didn't realize you'd never been there. I thought your dad would have taken you there by now. I said, well, not that I know of. My God, that's beautiful out there. And he's, uh, <laughs> and I, I, he said, but look, he says, um, luckily for you, grandma was sleeping, taking her nap. Don't, uh, he says, don't, don't be trying to climb that, uh, uh, that, that, that tree and then jump onto the roof when she's awake. Or man, she'll, oh, she'll holler and yell. He, I said, well, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll be careful. Uh, <laughs> I think grandma knew what was up. But the thing is, is it was my first glimpse of the water gap. And of course, I, I asked granddad if I could climb back up. He says, yeah, just tiptoe, don't jump. I said, okay, I don't want you to wake your grandmother. Okay, I go back up there. In fact, he may have come up with me, but he used a ladder. Yeah, and uh, he, uh, we're both sitting up there on top of the, on the peak. And he says, yeah, he says, that's, if you, he says, this side over here on the right, that's Jersey. Uh-huh, I said, Jersey. And then he says, where you see the dip, that's where the Delaware water, uh, the Delaware River cut through the uh, mountain. I said, it did, it cut through it. He says, yeah, there's all cliffs and stuff and ledges. I said, wow. And then he says, beyond that is Pennsylvania. That's where your mom's uh, parents live, way out in Pennsylvania, but about 300 miles out. And it's all mountains in Pennsylvania. I said, it is? Oh, oh, I got to go. He says, yeah. He said, well, again, someday we'll have to, we'll have to drive out there. Eventually, uh, sadly, Granddad died. Uh, oh, about a year or two prior, after after that, rather not prior, but after, and uh, we never got to the water gap, him and me. But um, it was pretty uh, was pretty neat sitting up there with him and him telling me all about it. Yeah, he uh, yeah he was uh, quite the guy, and that. Yeah, on, on the roof at Lake Lenape, that's where I got my first glimpse of the water gap. Now I see it most every day on my way to work. And I got to say, it's one of my favorite parts of the trip. Yeah, I don't go through it. I, I kind of have to zig, uh, zig a little bit to the east and get into Blairstown, but doggone. But doggone, I see it most every work day. And it never fails to impress me. Beautiful mountain. Beautiful. Anyway, I thought I'd say. Uh, other than that, there you go. Eventually, yeah, my father and I used to go out there uh, with our racing pigeons. And we'd park, oh uh, gosh, there's, uh, oh, the Shawnee House or the Shawnee Hotel, something like that. Uh, the, it was a resort run by a, a big band leader, and I can't think of his name right now. I claim a senior moment. But we used to let the pigeons loose on, uh, uh, we'd let the pigeons we'd release the pigeons uh, into the golf course and they'd, they'd have room to circle and they'd get up very high because the birds weren't dummies. They'd see the water gap and realize, oh, geez, <laughs> we, we're going to go through the gap and uh, off they'd go uh, at lickety split because they sensed there were eagles around and eagles like squab. Yes. But all in all, just a, just a neat, neat thing to see and a very busy uh, place back in uh, early history of our country too the old water gap anyway i'll see you later friends thank you and god bless get out and see the gap you'll like it bye now